Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here, custom e-bike builder, mechanic, and nerder of them. I'm a professional nerder. Today I want to talk about calculating how big of a battery you should get. I, I know I've touched on this before in one of my videos, how to calculate watt hours. It's kind of like a, a sister video of that one. When you're looking to buy a battery, if you're building your own bike, this is one of the benefits of being able to just get the exact right size battery for you. Don't overpay and don't underpay. Don't be left with like, oh, I wish I would've gotten a bigger one and don't be like, man, I just overpaid for this. I never use it. What I would do is figure out how many miles you would like to ride it between charges. So if you're, you're like, well, I need to go 10 miles to work. I'm gonna be there for eight hours. I charge it and then come home so you need a 10 mile range times that by 20 10 times 20 is 200 you need 200 watt hours if you want to go 40 if you need to go 20 miles times that by 20 that's 400 watt hours if you want to go 50 miles times that by 20 that's a thousand watt hours so that's roughly that's roughly assuming that you're going to be burning 20 watt hours a mile if you drive less, I mean, if you're like a peddler and you're like, you know, I like to cycle, I don't want to go fast, and you might only be burning like 10 watt hours a mile, then, you know, if you're somebody who's very conservative with their riding and going slow and is pedaling a lot, times it by 10. So if you're like, well, I want to do 60 miles in between charges, times that by 10, you only need a 600 watt hour battery. And how do you get watt hours timesing the voltage of your battery, whether it's 48 volt, 52 volt, by the amp hour rating next to it. So let's just say it's a 10 amp hour by 52 volts. That's 520 watt hours. If you have 48 volt times 10 amp hours, that's 480 watt hours. It's everything, I think it's all making sense now, right? It's all it's like super simple. It's like, oh yeah, it's not very confusing. Watt hours is just a more precise way to calculate amp hours. It's just amp hours times voltage. So it's just a very specific way to get to the meat of it. So uh, like when people are asking me like, well, what kind of battery should I get? And it's just like, well, if you're only planning on going like two, three miles in between charges, just get a little tiny battery. You get a little saddlebag battery. But if you want to do epic rides where you're like, I want to do 80 miles and I want to go fast and I'm going to be burning at least 20 watt hours a mile. Well, then you're going to need a 1500 watt hour pack. Hopefully that helped you guys a little bit. Thanks guys.